。好，咁第十、第十一條咧，都係講緊果形嘅交配嘅。咁啊，今次咧佢特別有提到咧，就係男性嘅果形咧，佢嘅 chromosome 嘅配置就係 X Y。咁當然啦，我哋喺書學過嘅，咁女性就係 X X 啦，有 Y 先係男人啊嘛。而翼嘅形狀咧都有兩款嘅，一款咧就正常嘅翼，一款咧就係切開咗嘅翼，咁佢咧就由一個 gene 咧去控制嘅。咁當然啦，話就話一個基因啦，咁但係其實 cut wing 咧同埋呢個 normal wing 咧，其實各自都係有一個嘅等位基因咧去控制嘅，所以起碼呢一條題目咧係有兩個 allele 嘅。我咁睇返第十條咯喎，佢就問返我哋啦，下面 A、B、C、D 邊一個嘅觀察啦？喺 cross one 入面嘅，就係、是、最能夠呢支持到有一個結論，就係 long m o v i n g 呢係一個顯性嘅表現型。咁啊 ，A、B、C、D 四句其實本身喺幅圖呢係睇得到嘅，例如啦，所有 F one 啦都係有正常嘅翼嘅，而 option B 呢，就係、是、講喺第二代嘅時候呢。正常翼同埋 cut 咗嘅翼嘅比例咧係三比一，咁你睇翻嗰個結果嘅話咧，的確係真係三比一嘅，七十幾加三十，再比三十即係一百比三十幾啦，咁啊的確大約係三比一嘅。跟住去到 option C 咧，係喺 F2 嘅時候咧，佢係有多啲嘅正常翼，係多過 cut wing 嘅。咁呢個真係嘅，因為 long move wing 咧加埋有百幾個 cut wing 咧，都只不過係三十幾個。跟住去到 D 咧，就係講啦，喺第二代嘅時候咧。正常翼嘅男性係同呢個 cut 翼嘅男性咧嘅數字係差唔多嘅，咁呢個的確又係嘅嗱，咁所以四個嘅特性咧，其實喺個題目係睇到嘅，而題目就只係問我哋邊一句咧係真係能夠支持得到咧，我哋有呢個結論，咁我哋一齊嚟推論下個 cross one 啦，咁 cross one 咧我哋有正常翼同埋 cut 嘅翼嘅父母親嘅，咁佢哋各自啦，當然起碼有一個。正常嘅嘅 allele 同埋一個 cut wing 嘅 allele 啦，係咪？咁即係話佢哋嘅下一代咧，係好大機會咧接收到一個正常翼嘅 allele 同埋一個 cut wing 嘅 allele 嘅。不過問題就嚟啦，係喺第一代嘅時候咧，我哋發現全部都係正常翼。咁即係話啦，原來個 cut wing 嘅 phenotype 咧係消失咗嘅。咁我哋要諗嘅問題就係話啦，究竟呢個 cut wing 嘅 allele 係咪已經俾人哋消滅咗啦？嚇定還是佢根本係傳唔到落去 F1 啦，咁所以咪冇咗啦，係咪？咁佢真係消失咗啊嘛！但係啦，我哋睇翻 F2 咧，又會發現翻原來 cut wing 咧係會出現嘅喎。咁即係話啦，呢個 cut wing 嘅 allele 咧，其實都應該係源自於我哋嘅 F1 嘅。咁問題就嚟啦，如果喺 F1 嗰樹佢哋真係有一個 cut wing 嘅 allele。咁但係啦，我哋眼見嘅呢，全部都係正常翼喎。咁即係話 cut wing 嘅 allele 呢，就應該係俾一個正常翼嘅等位基因呢去遮蓋咗佢。咁所以答案呢，已經出現咗啦，就係、是、A， 因為全部 F1 呢都係正常翼，但係佢哋明明應該係有一個 cut wing 嘅 allele。咁雖然我哋已經知道咗答案係 A 啦，但係呢都有返少少體育精神呢，睇埋 B、C、D。咁 B 佢就話啦，咁啊第二代呢個比例係三比一。但其實係咪三比一唔重要啊？佢係九比一、十比一、一千比一都冇所謂啊！因為最緊要就係我發現到有一隻 cut wing 嘅 individual 就已經能夠知得到，原來有一個 cut wing 嘅 allele 咧係 F1 個樹，佢唔係一個最好嘅 support 嘅原因。去到 C 啦，其實同。B 嗰句呢係有啲關係嘅。如果你接受 B 嗰句呢，即係話 long move wing 同 cut wing 嘅比例係三比一，咁即係 long move wing 係多啲啦。咁第二句咪講囉 l o n g move wing 係多過 cut wing、哦。你接受 B 就要接受埋 C。咁但係問題就係話啦 ，C 呢其實係一個 misconception 嚟嘅，係係一個好容易嘅誤解啊。成日話呢，人多嗰啲呀，咪就係 dominant 嘅特性囉。人多唔代表佢係一個 dominant 嘅特性。我用一個好簡單嘅例子，就係、是、五子同埋六子。我哋成日去諗嘅，喂，大把人咧都係五隻腳趾啦，係咪？佢係咪多文人啊？唔係啊，佢係 recessive 嘅特性嚟噶。相反啊，多文人嘅特性咧係六子線真啊。咁所以 option C 咧都唔係一個最好嘅 support 嘅原因嚟嘅。咁跟住 option D 咧，佢就話喺第二代嘅時候咧，一個正常翼。同埋 cut wing 嘅男性呢，佢哋嘅數字差唔多、哦。喎。呢個都係錯，因為啦，佢係一個唔公平嘅比較。你要去比較一個 ratio， 
，就唔能夠淨係去攞啲性別去比較，要比較應該攞曬全部 F2 去比較，有 l o m o 有 cut， 佢哋出嚟嘅比例大約係三比一，但係三比一唔能夠去解釋得到咧。多文人嘅特性就係 normal wing， 所以答案咧就係 A 啦。好 ，Let's take a look at question ten and eleven. Is talking about the two crosses of the fruit fly. In the question, is mentioned that the male fruit fly they are heterogametic sex, so that means they have the X Y chromosome, and for the female will be two X chromosomes. And for the wing shape of the fruit fly, so there are two types of wing shape. One is the normal wing, and the other is the cup wing. And is controlled by one single gene, but of course there should be two alleles to control normal wing and cut wing. So let's take a look at the question ten. So it's asking which of the following observation from clause one best support the conclusion that normal wing is the dominant phenotype. So let's take a look at the options A, B, C, D to know that they are correct themselves. So for the option A, all F one individual they are normal wing. Yes, we can observe it. And then B, the ratio of normal wing individual to the cut wing individuals is three to one in F two. So if you calculate the number seventy something plus thirty something, and then compare with the thirty five, is around three to one. And then for option C, there are more normal wing individual than cut wing individual in F two. So you can really see that it's one hundred and five compared with thirty five individuals is also true. And then for option D, normal wing male are more or less the same number as the cut wing male in F two. And you can observe that in F two the number is very very close. So for all of them, they are true themselves. Which one is the best evidence to support the conclusion? So let's think together by using the cross one data. So for the cross one data, we have the normal wing female and the cut wing male. So for the normal wing parent, it has at least one normal wing allele, and for the cut wing parent, it has at least one cut wing allele. So that's why for the offspring F one, they should possibly receive the normal wing allele and the cut wing allele. However, from the result, we see that all of the F one they are normal wing individuals. So that's why no cut wing phenotype appear. So it seems like that the cut wing allele disappear. So let's think about it. Is it the cut wing allele eliminated, or is just not passed on the next generation in F one? So by solving the question, we can take a look at. F two because in F two you can really find the cut wing individual. So that means there must be a cut wing allele passed from the F one to F two. So that means for the F one individual they really have the normal wing and cut wing allele, but just the cut wing allele is masked by the normal wing allele in F one. So it shows that the normal wing allele is the dominant allele. So that's why option A is already correct. But let's take a look at option B, C, D to know that why they are not the best evidence. So for option B is talking about the ratio of normal wing individual to the cut wing individual is three to one. Yes, we can observe it. But actually, no matter it is three to one or nine to one or one thousand to one, it doesn't matter. It's because Even I just see one individual with the cut wing phenotype. It shows that there is a cut wing allele passed from the F one. It's not necessary to be three to one, even nine to one, one thousand to one. I can still accept it. So that's why B is not the best evidence. And for option C, there are more normal wing individual than the cut wing individual in F two. So option C is a very common misconception. The misconception is that if the larger proportion show that particular phenotype, it means that particular phenotype is the dominant phenotype. Is a wrong concept because larger population it doesn't mean that it is a dominant phenotype. I give you the example of five toe and six toe. So of course, most of the human being in the population they have the five toes. But for the five toes, actually, is the recessive phenotype, recessive characteristic. But for the dominant characteristic, it is the six-toed. So it doesn't mean that if there is a large population to show that 
characteristic, it doesn't mean that it is a dominant one. It can be the recessive one. And for option D, we compare the normal wing male and the cut wing male, so the number is more or less the same. So option D is also wrong because it is an unfair comparison. Because if we need to compare the phenotype, so we need to compare all F2 offsprings, but not a particular sex. So that's why option D is not the best evidence.